Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. And trust me, guys, it works. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And the best of all, it is totally free. Yes, totally free. So download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. In today's episode... I'll be talking with one of my cousins. I didn't know she was my cousin, but we'll be talking from with one of my cousins. She'll talk about how she went from you know, graduating high school and going into the workforce to becoming a single mother of two daughters. Everybody welcome, Evie Garza. <laughs> I think your audio is connected. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, I can hear you. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just, just turn it up on my end. I think we should be good. But how have you been? <clears throat> uh, pretty good ish. <laughs> ish. Why the ish? ish. Explain the ish. Um, her fingers are stuck. My kids are, they're great. <laughs> Your kids are being kids. Just got officially divorced, like, this week. Oh, if it's been so that that's... long? I feel like, I feel like it's been forever. Well, yeah, so we split up in March, but because I was pregnant, nothing could be, like, official or finalized. So it just got finalized. It took almost what ten months, or was that? Yeah. Eight? Well, I had her in October because I couldn't do anything while I was pregnant because they had also like the child everything, like visitation rights and all that crap. Mm, all the fun stuff that they make you do. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, that's okay. I got two kids out of it. (laughs) I mean, I guess so. I mean, would you care to... No, I won't say go into detail, but if you wanted to, kind of just what happened? And I mean, that's what you have to go into if you want. No, yeah. So it was really toxic, and everything happened super fast. Like, I was only with him for three months when I got pregnant with my first. And well, then yeah, you guys were pretty fine though on your Facebook posts. Oh yeah, it looked great. <laughs> uh no, I actually wasn't allowed to leave the house. Um, I couldn't talk to anybody. I had to take off all the guy friends I had on Facebook. I had to delete Snapchat for a couple months. <laughs> like it was really bad, like really toxic. All your guy friends was, they made you? It was all of them. Yep. Oh Jesus! I only got to keep you because you were my cousin. <laughs> and you were able to use that excuse. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and hey, there you go. Yeah. Damn. Like it's it was terrible. Oh. Like I couldn't leave the house, or I'd get texts like, "Where are you? The f are you with? I know you're lying." Like it was ridiculous. And damn, that, in that small of a town. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to Western Nebraska, right? But yeah, no. And then he himself was like psychotic and would go like crazy. Like he broke an Xbox controller, and like I don't even know what the fight was. And he got so mad that he threw it on the floor and it shattered. Uh, there at your house, or were you living with him at the time? Yeah. 
Well, so we lived here with my parents because I needed help with my first because he mm-hmm. did absolutely nothing. Mm. Like I did everything. I was a single mom but married. <laughs> like it was ridiculous. So I we lived here and it wasn't even his Xbox, it was EJ's and he broke EJ's what? controller. <laughs> EJ, not <Yeah>. Edge. <laughs> like that was mine. <laughs> Poor Edge. Oh, I know. Uh, was he was EJ a little bit pissed or um, he didn't find out till like months later. <laughs> oh, what? So a everything month? said and done. I was like, when he said it was his, and he's like, "You guys don't even have an Xbox One. That was mine." <laughs> I was like, "Sorry." Jesus. No, he has a PS Five, so he's good. <laughs> oh, he went from an Xbox to a PS Five. Yeah, cause him and Q plays whatever game, so he got it for Christmas. <laughs> Dang, he's still playing with Quentin? Dang. Mm-hmm. And Carlos. Carlito. So was, did you see that Carlos got his CDL license? I believe a couple days ago? Yeah, we were actually just talking about that. Yeah, you really? did. I was like, holy like, well, shit. I was like, holy, I saw that. I was like, holy shit. He got his CDL license. And what about EJ? I mean, wasn't he supposed to be... I know last time we talked, which was... Probably maybe two years ago. I know he said he was going to do two years at WNCC and then uh, finish the rest at UNL. But like I said, that was that was a bit ago. He wanted to go to UNL so bad, but then he stayed. And I think it was because of Cuban Carlos. Like, he cannot go anywhere without people he knows. So now he's going to go to Shadron next year. He's going to Shadron? Yeah, so he switched from, like, being a vet to business i think is what he switched to i mean hey what like what about business like what just business administrations or just like a specific one? Oh, he just said one. business just said business i think so whatever one carlos is doing now he's following him but i thought carlos was just getting his, went... his cdl license well he's still at wcc like they go to classes and stuff mm. he's probably not done done yeah it probably won't be till like may yeah. Well, yeah. Probably when they consider him, even though yes, he probably passed the test, but um, they probably don't consider him like done, done till till May, till probably when they do his yeah. whole graduation thing, and then it's probably yeah. Easy vote said he's not gonna walk at WNCC. Why would he not walk? It's so WNCC. That's what I said. He's like, no, I'm fine. I don't want to. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, luckily in college, you can choose if you want to walk or not. You can; they'll just uh, yeah. mail it to you. Um, but shit, I mean, that's dang. I haven't seen him. Last time I saw him, dude was getting taller than than me. I was like, holy shit! Dude, same with same with my cousin He's Carlos. He's a giant now. Same with Carlos. I saw him last time. I'm like, god damn, Carlos! Like you're starting to get tall too. Either yeah, I'm just short as fuck, not babies. But, or something, but damn. <laughs> he makes me feel so short. Like he walks in and I was like, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> Is his voice deeper? Um, I haven't noticed it. I live with him. Oh, well, I mean, I guess he lived with him for a bit, so I don't know. <laughs> but, but how's. Uh, yeah, those days kind of... that Carlos. I was on uh, continue speaking. Huh? My bad. My bad. Continue speak. I didn't mean that. That Carlos had his CDL because my dad just got into a uh, accident with his truck like two Ooh. weeks ago. Ooh, how was that? He was turning into a lot and the kids stole a pickup and it was super icy and passed him on the shoulder. So it wasn't even the road. And as he was turning, they hit him. Oh my god. Yeah, and they like rolled and everything and it was like three teenagers and they took off running. And then the cops found him and everything, and it was like fifteen and sixteen year olds, and they were all high. What the fuck? Fifteen yeah, and sixteen year olds. Like, uh, yeah, it was three of them: a guy and two girls. What? Yeah. What? 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 Yeah. Like, what happened? Like, did they get? Are they getting charged or anything? Or I have no idea. I have not heard anything else about it other than they obviously got arrested. 
Yeah, but I haven't yeah. seen anything. They haven't told us anything. <laughs> well, I know like, it's. I know here at Walmart, there's this. Uh, uh, there's a 16 year old. Her name's Lucia. She comes to work sometimes drunk. She has been oh. caught snorting coke in the bathroom. She, um, uh, gives, uh a kid that works with me. Uh, his name's Liam. He goes to the same school. I think they're also in the same grade. And he has told me, oh, yeah, she has her little own little group that they smoke pot, they drink, they do all the fun stuff during like, in school, too. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? You're 16. They're like babies. I'm, yeah. I know. I'm like, I was happy when I was 16. I was happy I got my license. And I felt like a bad bitch. Right. And I had my <laughs> license. <laughs> and now you got them fucking snorting coke. Like, what the hell? Yeah. It's they're ridiculous. Yeah. But how's it been? I know last time that uh I ever saw you was in the school. Are you still there at the school? No. Um, um so after I guess before. So the year I got pregnant with my first, I ended up quitting. So now I'm a stay at home mom, but I work for my dad, if that makes sense. So I do like his billings and stuff. Like at the end of the week. So you're kind of like his assistant in a way? Yeah. (laughs) But I get to stay at home. (laughs) So he has his own like company and he just. uh... Yeah. Oh, well, okay. That's, I mean, yeah, I mean, yes. I mean, hey, that's good. I mean, that's good. Yeah. Because I know yeah, you were telling me good. how you went from home at the time you were with Home Depot. Oh, no, I think you said you were doing both at the time, right? Yep. Or and then. Yep, I had to quit that because there was guys that worked there, Marco. So I was gonna cheat on him. I had to leave. Really? Oh. Uh... Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know your six-year-old manager, you got to watch out for him. You know. Oh yep. <laughs> It was the worst of them all. <laughs> oh. Yeah, them sixty year olds, you know. Give them, yep. give them Viagra, and they're they're on their way. But, <laughs> but did you ever decide to? Um, I don't know. Did you decide to go uh, to college, or did you just? Uh, or was it at the time when you were pregnant? I did, is when it and kinda... I stopped. No, that was in twenty nineteen. I stopped in like October. Because I felt like on the B movie, you know, when he's like, you have one job and that's what you do for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. And I felt like super overwhelmed. And I was like, uh, just kidding. And I just like stopped going. And you were going, well, what's it, going education? Back. Nursing. Oh, nursing. Of course, every, mm-hmm. every, uh, every person <laughs> in the panhandle has got to, every chick in the panhandle has got to do nursing. Um, yeah. Classes are big. <laughs> don't worry i uh um i i stopped going to college too um my first semester at unl i was going in for computer science and i realized this is pretty hard it's not i mean yeah it wasn't the coding aspect aspect it's just how fast they move because and you know what was dumb because you know how in military they're like hey you know minimum you need is just two years of spanish because that's all we can um offer and yeah, fun stuff. yeah and how we only did pre the highest math we could take was pre-calc um mm-hmm. there they're like required class minimum required math class was calc one so i had to take calc one um i had to have four years of, of a foreign language class i only had two so i had to take on so i had to take two spanish classes well not two i had to do a uh, one for one semester the other for the other semester yeah and i was like well this is kind of dumb. I got told to only I only need this. I'm like, well, this is kind of dumb. And so I had to do oh hello. <laughs> so I had to do math plus an a Spanish. Um plus I forgot what else I needed that was required that again military didn't offer. And so it, they were going super fast too. But I mean like f- like one week was okay, you know, just normal coding, I'm learning how to code and whatnot. And then it was okay, ha- finding coordinates. And then the next week was, um, how to change the color of a picture using code. I'm like, where did we learn all of this? Like, I've been watching the videos. I've been wa- uh, coming to school. 
the classes i mean i've like i i even live in campus and make it easier like i where did all this come from and i even looked at the files that he gave us i didn't see anything and i'm like where where did all this come from goodness and they just expected you to do it yeah, because it was funny because uh, when our first day there, he said, um, you know, uh, people who if you guys already have a knowledge of the coding experience we're going to do, um, I do recommend to do my advanced ones because um, this is for beginners. I want the beginners to to feel welcomed. I want them to feel comfortable here because, you know, a lot of them probably have never even done coding ever in their life. So you know, go slow, but yet he kind of, uh, let's just say, he, he kind of was better with the people who already knew how to code rather than the beginners, <laughs> so it kind of made us feel useless in a way, like kind of like, why, why are we here then? Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it's like you're spending more time with the people who know how to code <laughs> rather than <laughs> people who haven't. So yeah, it was just it was just super hard and it was also the first time that technically I was living without my parents. Like I was by myself. So mm-hmm. I would spend a lot of times, you know, sleeping in a lot, kind of just not doing anything. Um, you know, driving around at night, like late nights, not really caring about homework and all the fun stuff. And so I just said, nah, I'm that's I was just doing so horrible. I was so bad at homework. Because I remember crying to Gifford and being able to get out of homework that I never really learned how to do homework. <laughs> yeah, because in college is different. It's much different. I'm terrible at it. Yeah, like, I, I was like, like yeah. Oh, so bad. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no. So I decided, you know, um, I want because I've always been wanting to do something with business, even even before because. I've told my my mom before that how I want to be rich. I want to, I'm going to be the richest person in our family, you know, all the fun stuff. But I always wanted to do something something with the business, but I never really knew what to start with. And so I was like, you know, I'll do computer science, learn how to code, and you know, do something with that. And I didn't, but I didn't really know what I truly wanted to do. And so mm-hmm. I, I I switched my major to business administration. Um, pretty late i mean luckily my advisor was able to do it but it was still kind of super late where it would have just been easier for me to finish the the rest of the semester and then the new one do it do start with business administration but um because i was already late a lot of the classes that i needed i couldn't get into and I, i i mean one of them i still was able to get into and it was a meteorology class how does one taking business administration have to do a meteorology class <laughs> it makes zero sense and yeah it it was honestly fun it was kind of one of those like oh that's cool like i never knew that like, it, it was it wasn't bad but i was like what what is this I, i'm not yeah, learning like, anything <laughs> and so you know that was going on and then, you know, this whole virus started coming upon us. So, like, you know, mm-hmm. you're gone for two weeks. And I said, all right, that's perfect fine by me. And then we got an email saying, while being gone for two weeks, if, you know, as students, since we I was living in the dorms at the time, if you decide to leave, like, completely, like, leave, um, sign the document saying, you're, you know, you're leaving for the semester and, um, and we'll refund you whatever portion whatever percentage of the rest of the month so if we've Mm -hmm. i think it was either january or february so they just did the math and i believe refunded me about 40 percent of housing which is at the time i think it was like six seven hundred dollars which which i mean kind of wasn't a lot but they refunded that (laughs) yeah it was it was something they were but they refunded me that and then they said okay um you know, this is oh, just do this, whatever, yada, yada, yada. So I said, cool, packing my bags, you know, depending on how long it's going to be. I don't want my stuff to, to be here. So I'll take everything left home. Then I got an email. <laughs> Went from a month 
to three months till oh look well, there's a thing called covid now that is going around that now is what <laughs> the whole thing that happened and so they just switched to online classes and i wasn't i i don't do well when it comes to online classes so that's i said going no. back to <laughs> so that's what so, i'm like really nervous. yeah so i just stopped completely i'm like nope i'm done i'm done with college like i'm not and it was like for like a good two years they were still doing like online classes and i'm like nope i'm not mm-hmm. doing that and i mean i applaud the people that did it but i'm like nope i i i, I couldn't do that so i kind of just worked at walmart until um obviously i found my girlfriend um, we dated and we moved here to lincoln because where she goes to college is here at southeast and oh nice I, <laughs> Uh, for human services and I kind of just tagged along because I didn't really know what I wanted to do but I didn't want to live there for the rest of my life so they yeah. live in the panhandle so I'm like I'll move explore and so I said all right cool I'll do that and video popped up about real estate and I said you know what I'll try to I'll try to become a realtor so I've already done the classes um, I just have to nice. pass this test. I failed three times already because it's uh kind of hard, and so <laughs> I just gotta keep studying. Pass because once I pass, I've already talked to a bunch of other brokerages. Once I pass, I do do the steps and be a realtor here, and so, nice. and plus That'd be really cool podcasting plus podcasting because yeah. <laughs> kind of just aside just kind of just do it for whatever but yeah it's it's kind of how it's gone over here i mean that's really really how it's been with me i, mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I don't do a lot <laughs> i mean hey i mean i i've tried to follow what you know people back home have been doing i mean i know like alexandra and Arcelli are still in the nursing program right yep i think so i know jackie she's doing i don't know she's in uh rad tech and i think she's already passed the like the beginning i think or and i forgot what she's doing but i know i think i think she's already like kind of done with like the first step and i think she's moved on to the second step i think i don't i don't know but yeah i haven't talked to like anybody from daniel he's with his baby mama slash wife so he's what yeah he he's with god knows what he's doing i mean i just know on facebook he posts a lot of weed memes so so he's a pothead i guess um i've but from all of them i've heard the ones who have had it the worst have been um you know ethan and ivan um i didn't talk to ivan since 2020 well i mean i've heard a bunch of things with him because i know i had one with emily like last year and she said that um for a good period of time ivan was homeless and then i guess i i don't know if she just said she was he was just smoking weed or or he was also doing something else or maybe just weed and drinking i don't know the whole i don't remember the whole story i don't know anybody yeah, but I know she said uh, uh, for a certain period of time, uh, he was homeless. And then when I talked to Cesar, uh, he said that um, Ivan moved to Montana with Chris. Oh, please. And But it wasn't like a planned, like he just wanted to get out. And once Chris said, hey, you know, I'm going to college in Montana, he kind of just said, cool, I'm coming with and packed his bags left. <laughs> and yes. Still don't know what he's doing. I mean, I tried getting him on the podcast to try to just talk with him. And he he said, sure. And he has left me on delivered for two days now. So I oh, don't know wow. what's up with him. Um, I tried getting a lot of people that I knew. And a lot of them have left me on delivered or read or completely just just denied. I know you're like, oh, really? And I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, I mean, I've had other people on there. I mean, I've had um, 
a psychic. I've had someone from a CPS field in New York City, um, a business coach, a meditation teacher, uh, like another type of like business mindset coach as well. Like I've had some people on there. Yeah, which you, know, you, which you can go back and listen. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's. I was like, damn, like you guys know me, and I'm, you guys aren't aren't wanting to talk. I'm like, damn, it kind of shows, kind of shows how you all are. <laughs> <laughs> I, tr- I, I was thinking of getting Efren, but I don't know if I should do that one. That was. Oh, that would be. I, I don't know how controversial. I don't know how controversial that one would be because uh, with with mine I'm like uncensored like I don't like we cuss cuss cool like I don't care what we talk about like I and it's I it, I like it raw like there's no pre-planned questions mm-hmm. none of that I just like doing everything like a conversation I'm talking with someone yeah. I'm not I don't want I don't want them to feel like they're being um I mean, yeah, obviously, I mean, obviously, you're being recorded, but like an interview, I don't want them to just think it's that. It's like, no, we're talking, we're catching up with each other and shit like that. So I don't know how, how if I would, if I should do it with Ephraim. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know either. So that's. I mean, that's... give everybody a chance to hear his side because I haven't heard nothing from him, but I don't nah, think I, I care either. <laughs> I, I would want to bring it up, but I also don't want to because I don't want him to relive the past. Yeah. Because, you know? I mean, I, I'm i not saying, like, he's a bad person. Like, uh, I mean, you know, we already knew how him and Ivan were, but, and, I mean. Oh, yeah. We already knew how they were, but, you know, for what he did, I don't, I, I don't know if he really wants to, you know, live back in that past yeah. and kind of say, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so kind of like I moved on from that. I don't want to really talk about it. Like I don't. It's like you know, acceptable. I don't want to force anything out of you. But even then, it'll still be a little bit controversial. So I don't, I don't know. It'd be yeah. a good. I feel like it'd be a good one, but I don't know yet. <laughs> um. But, Sorry, my kids doing something weird. Oh, you're good. They're kids. You're fine. Well, she's in a baby bouncer, and she's past the limit. And she's just—I don't I need her to break it. <laughs> oh, she's she'll like be trying fine. to fall asleep. Like she has like pillows. <laughs> oh, she'll be fine. But what <laughs> struggles have you had? You know, being a single mother and all. Like, what struggles have you had? I know, I know oh, there's gosh. probably a lot, but like, yeah, do not recommend. Um, baby daddies in general suck. <laughs> hey, I mean, like, I, I know ugh, baby daddies suck. He didn't do a, he didn't do a single thing while we were together, and then we broke up. Oh, that's my kid. I'm a help. I do this. I do that. I'm like, you don't do crap. <laughs> Verts off, <laughs> and. I don't know, like, my daughter would come back and have nightmares. Like, he'd only have her from, like, 8 to 3.30, and she would come home that night and would just scream in her sleep. Like, it was terrible. And then my littlest one, she is so sensitive. She's allergic to laundry detergent, but we have to use Mm. free and clear. So, like, no dyes, no fragrances, nothing. So, if she touches your shirt, she breaks out. Like her face Ooh. will get all red, and I've told him, I go, hey, I go here, use this blanket of hers and block yourself from her, so when you hold her, she doesn't get red, and then he leaves, and she's all red. Okay, yep, you're okay. Oh, yeah, it's been terrible. And then <laughs> child support. I feel like, have you seen that Medea movie? She's all, where's my money, Byron? <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> Oh, he hasn't paid child support at all? Well, yeah, but it's not consistent. And he's still, like, behind and stuff, and then I can't do anything about it because the state's like, oh, where does he work? We'll garnish his paychecks. And then he goes and gets a new job. So it does nothing. (laughs) Mm. So I'm like, well, you tried. (laughs) 
Yeah, because once you like, get a job, uh, they can't really do anything about that. Because they can't just switch from, uh, they can't just garnish a job after job. Month. You can, but you have to wait a whole other month. Yeah. So, like, he's got a system down. <laughs> damn, and more... these kids are expensive. Yeah. Why, why do you think, because um, I, I talked to my girlfriend uh, because my mom's like, hey, you know, because, you know, at the time, my brother and I were in a relationship. Unfortunately, he's not. But, you know, at the time when we were, she was like, hey, you know, about kids and marriage and all the fun stuff. And I told my mom, like, you know, she's my because my girlfriend's not really much of a child person. And I don't I don't mind having a child. One is good enough. But I also told her, I'm like, you know, when we're ready, like financially, yeah. because kids get expensive. Yeah. Because I I told her I'm like because I don't want to be those people where we're in our low twenties and we have a kid and one has to do one has to be out of a job and then the other has to do has to be working two jobs and and it and yeah and it just go bad and so we're like no nah, we'll wait until yeah. we'll wait until we're good and even then even if once we are good even then we're like well you know. At the, are we still even ready? Because, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, I recommend traveling like as much as you can because I miss out. Yeah. Like just getting up and getting there, I can't do that. <laughs> as you can hear, I can't do anything. <laughs> so Why? even if you want to go to Cheyenne, like you have to. Well, I have to get her her diapers i have to get her snacks i have to make sure she has enough liquids and then in the car she doesn't like to be restrained like she hates being tied down so then that's a whole fight just to get there and then once you're there at the store she doesn't sit in the carts she wants to be held or she wants to walk around and when she wants to walks around she grabs everything off the shelves (laughs) like it's not just go I'm assuming sometimes you probably just tell your mom, I'm going to go to the store, just <laughs> keep them here. My only out is worship, like at church, because that I really can't take kids. Like that's, so that's the only way I can get like a way away. So explain that. I know you've been with the church I... a lot now. Well, I know you've yeah. been with the church oh, a lot, love... but now I see you kind of talk that's about it more. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm still on the worship team. I do the piano still. And then sometimes I'll have a microphone or sometimes I'll be just on a microphone. And I was supposed to be there today, but the roads are the greatest. <laughs> Did it really snow that and bad? I'd rather there? not really. Um, I think so. How much did you think we got? About three inches. Like three, three inches. inches. And it's not terrible, but now I have kids to come home to. So it's not like Eh, like what do I have to lose? Well, I have a lot to lose now. <laughs> we got an eighth of an inch. That's all we got. No, <laughs> that's all we got. We don't get a lot here, and when we do, we do. We've had like three snowstorms. We had like one really like, and it wasn't even considered a snowstorm, but it was. We were hitting in the negative forties and sixties here. Like it was bad. That, yeah. I yeah we had so I got a dog his name is Rocky he's the sweetest and now they're outside (laughs) because my kids and we have carpet now and they're aggressive (laughs) so I feel so that's exactly what he's after (laughs) yeah (laughs) but he is the derpiest thing like I've ever met like he's not even a normal I don't even know what he is he's just he's Rocky (laughs) And I feel so that they have like heat lamps and like beds and they're in our old chicken coop. <laughs> and I still feel real bad. I mean, hey, it's Rocky Balboa. He'll get out of anything. And Star, poor Star's mad at him. I don't know if you remember how much of a princess Star was, but she's really mad at him. Because <laughs> she's out Je- there with him too. Jealous dog too. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, the dogs can get jealous. Oh yeah, she like they get into fights all the time. And they're dogs, what do you expect? <laughs> but 
And but so you were with the whole piano and the microphone with the worship team, like our like. Do you just yep. do you just sing so a lot or? Every... Yeah, yep. I think I don't know. Um, I was supposed to be on a just a mic today and lead a song, but because I missed today, I don't know the next time she's gonna let me do that. <laughs> because and I even got a text that I was the only one that missed, that everybody. Oh, oh, like, right, it good. was it was it was one of those like hey you know. Everyone else made it, so why couldn't you? Literally, so I texted her last night, and I'll go, hey, are we still going to have church? Like, there's a lot of people saying, like, no, because of the storm. And she goes, I don't know. They're talking about it right now. And I go, okay, well, let me know when you know, because I don't like to wake up early, because I have to be there at 9 a.m. And I also have to get my oldest one ready, because she goes with me and my dad. And um, they're like, nope, he's still have church and everything's at seven o'clock and I was like well I think I'm gonna stay home like the roads aren't the greatest and I don't trust people especially that my dad just went to an accident she was mm -hmm. okay and then at nine o'clock so far you're the only one not coming just to let you know I'm like okay <laughs> damn she really am I supposed to say never mind <laughs> damn she really like kind of turned to a bitch and said oh hey you know by the way you're the only one not showing up yeah so I was like oh Okay, sorry. <laughs> Dang. My bad. <laughs> and, but uh, are you always going in, like, though? Like, are you, like, is your attendance yeah, good there? Yeah, so even after I had my second one, I was there the first Sunday because I had her on the 4th, on October 4th. Mm -hmm. So I was literally there, like, October 2nd, and then I was back again October 30th. Jesus. I'm like, I didn't take much of a break. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus. I am there. Like, being on a worship team, like, are you, like, like is there kind of, like, schedules you kind of have to follow, or is it just, like, you only, only events? That... Um, so it's every Sunday. It's, I have to be there every Tuesday night, and she'll send out, like, a list of songs, like, either Monday night or, like, Monday morning, like, hey, we're gonna do these songs, and then we go, and sometimes there's food, like dinner, so that's always really good. And then um, we go in the sanctuary, we practice, we like mess around, because it is just it's just practice. So it's like, uh, it's being in a band. <laughs> and then on Sundays, we meet at 8 a.m. Yeah, at 8 a.m. because um, there's Sunday school at 9. But today, the pastor is in Israel, so there was no Sunday school. Yep, that's our schedule every Tuesday, Sunday. The pastor's in Israel? Yeah, he took a trip that um the rock, I think, is the one that is like leading it that church. And there was like 45 people that went. So it's a tour of Israel. Sit down. What the hell? A tour of it. Oh, this guy's lucky. <laughs> yeah. So he's there. Oh, he left last week and he comes back on the second. But they're like nine hours ahead of us. So right now it's nine o'clock at night. So and he's an early bird. So he is passed out. Like he's gone. And like it's I don't think I could do the time difference. No, especially for nine hours. Okay. No. When yeah, so I guess he took like sleeping stuff on the plane. <laughs> So that he wouldn't be so jet lagged. I've never been on a plane, so I mean that'll be fun. Uh, and with and with with me with the whole hour change when with the time zones when you go from one time zone to another, I hate that already, and I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the one daughter that you said that loves to grab everything? Yes. <laughs> She's eating her little Cheerio and trying to grab my laptop. Was that the one that was uh, waving at me a lot? Waving, yes. And I don't know if she was waving at you or herself. Because she can see herself on my side. <laughs> There's nothing in there. There's a cup in the living room. Go get your cup. They're, they're all gone. Go get your cup. How did your parents react when you had uh your first child? <laughs> I know um, that's probably I know that was probably fun. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that was yeah. Well, I wasn't married when I first got pregnant with her. And that's when we moved in is when I found out. And then we moved into the basement and turned it into an apartment. So we had two bedrooms, a kitchen, a living room and a bathroom and like even like a little laundry room we used the storage room and had like washer dryers everything and then with my second we were already having issues in our marriage so I'm like well surprise because <laughs> I left him Christmas last year in 2021 I left him I was like you know what this ain't working and that lasted two weeks and then I went back because I had it and and um so we got back together whatever and then I got pregnant again and literally a month after I found out I was like we were done done because it was March and it was like the first nice day I went for a walk with my mm-hmm. oldest and he cussed me out for it like I went on a walk on the path at the Y and he's like, who the F are you with? Where the F are you going? And he had my daughter. But like, he was like freaking out that I was cheating on him. And who was I with? And what was, who was I talking to? Like, and I was like, yeah, you're done. I go get your stuff and leave. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I mean, and I know it's sad on his end because he, it's probably just trauma on his end as sad as it is. But even then it's like, he can't, he can't use that on yeah. you. Like as much as it's trauma, he's got to. He's got to trust you. You could tell, but it was like over a year of that because we started dating in 2020. And 2022, he was still acting like that. Like I literally married him. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. After that long, I could, I could see why you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> and like, honestly, I didn't even want to get married. Like we were already having issues. Like, well, maybe if we were married, I wouldn't be like this. And I'm like, well, I'm already pregnant. I'm probably going to end up with you anyway. So I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, you, just, Alec. <laughs> you just decided to, to just to just do it? Yep. What the hell? So his manipulation yeah. kind of worked? Or you just said, well, I guess so. Yep. Well, because I was like, well, I'm already pregnant. And I'm like, it's your kid, obviously. And I'm like, probably going to end up with you at the end of the day because I'm pregnant. So I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> So we went sad. to the courthouse and we signed everything. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest love story. <laughs> we got married on some lady's porch. <laughs> Excuse me, what? On some lady's porch? Yeah. It was real fishing. And I was before I told the rest of my family I was pregnant, like only my siblings and my parents knew. And I was like, well, I better be married before I tell my grandma or she's going to die. <laughs> so... I was like, we need to get this done, like, today. And the guy, this lady, or the courthouse is like, here's a list of numbers of officiants. Go ahead and give them a call. I don't know if you can get today, but you probably get it pretty soon. So we mm-hmm. called. She's like, oh, well, I just had, like, hip surgery and blah, 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 blah. She's like, if we were to do it, it'd have to be, like, at my house. We're like, yeah, okay, that works, that works. <laughs> so, yeah, I got married on some lady's porch. Oh, that's probably going to be a fun story. Just tell people, hey, yeah, you know, if they ever yeah. ask you, how, how your first marriage went? You'd be like, funnily enough, I got married on some lady's porch that I don't even know. I just had to go to. I couldn't even tell you where that house is. Like, I couldn't drive by. I'd be like, oh, right there. I got married. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> and it was here in town. And so you just said, all right, cool. We're married. And it still went rocky from there. Yep. Yeah, like, he oh, he went super crazy right before I had my first. We got into a fight, and he got into my face. He goes, and I'm going to take that baby away from you. I was like, whoa. So I got in my car, and as I'm trying to leave, he literally put his foot under my tire, and he goes, if you run over my foot, you're going to have to take me to the hospital, and that's the only way you're leaving. Jesus. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh. And then, so the whole thing with lawyers and I was telling my lawyer, he goes, well, did you call the cops? I go, no, but I really should have. <laughs> so yeah. what was I going to say? He's not letting me leave. He put his foot under my tire. <laughs> what the lawyers say, well, he's like, come on, man. You could have, should have called them. Or he's just like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's like, well, you should have. And then like, I was like t- explaining everything to him. He's like, uh, you were abused. 
and he's like not physically but emotionally and mentally he's like you were abused and i'm like okay <laughs> you're like damn just like say it <laughs> i know I'm like sorry <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, but... he even said, so I did move out. I moved out of my parents' house for two weeks. Two weeks I lived by without my parents. Then we you moved live? out to the family, the family farm uh -huh. out by the lake. And so we went out there, and we were doing, like, the, it was December. So, you know, when you put, like, the saran wrap over the windows to keep the warmth in? Yeah. So we were doing that. Just like, wow, look at all these places where I could bury your body and nobody would ever find you. And I'm like, what? That's what? That's what he said? Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, we're so far out here, nobody could hear you scream. What the and fuck? I was like, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> How how scared were you? Like, did you like could you even call your? I guess could even oh maybe call your parents and say yeah get me out of here. I didn't know if he was joking or not, so I was like okay whatever like okay, <laughs> but we only lived out there for two weeks, and then since I had no job, he was my only source of income. He wouldn't give me anything. Like I had zero like no money. There was no gas in my car. Like my grandma lived three miles from where we were and I didn't even have a house. And I was like, um, and that that point my daughter was only four months. So I was like, if something happens, I need gas to get to town, take her to the hospital. <laughs> Why don't you apply for uh, unemployment? Just to at least help you out a bit. Well, because I quit the school. I don't even think you get unemployment if you quit. Mm -hmm. Don't you have to be like fired or something? I don't know. I I mean I know people have that have quit and still get it. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. No, I, don't know. I, just, I never tried, but it was ridiculous. And then so the only money money I got was the change that he would leave on the counters and like the dresser. So I would literally take that to Starbucks, and that's how I would get my treats <laughs> was through change. And he didn't care. And then he called it stealing. No, I was stealing. I was stealing his money. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did your parents ever tell you, like, leave his ass right now, like, for everything that he's doing? No, because I never, told, I never told them any of this until I left him. Like wow. once I finally left him, I was like, this is why. Yeah, and they're okay. like, what the heck? <laughs> why did you stay? Why did you tell us? <laughs> Yeah, you should have let Edge do I really something about like it. That. Oh yeah, because EJ is gonna do so much. <laughs> he would. <laughs> and after and that, after everything. Oh yeah, I mean, that's, you kind of already answered huh? it. You kind of already answered it with the whole vis visitation thing. But has he tried like getting into contact with you other than the whole visitation thing, or? Well. I got some texts that, like, my dad's like, he's trying to get you back. And I was like, well, heck no. <laughs> oh, it's, it's he like never the whole. Physically... But I feel like if I went back, he would. Probably. Like, it was just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> so right now he has visitation with my youngest where he has to come into my house and see her for a minimum of four hours, which he's never even done. But that's on him. I've never kicked him out. And uh, it's, like, really awkward. <laughs> it's, like, really, really awkward. Like, I try, but it's, like, mm -hmm. And then I can't be too nice because I'm, like, you literally just did this to me. <laughs> like, it has it, like, has he, like, in your house, has he tried to, like, win you back by like, trying to be all lovey-dovey or... Um, well, I sit across the room from him, so I never even sit next to him, and I'm not by him, but I'm in the room. Um, he'll start talking like, oh, and Aria would just love this, and I do this with her, and I do this, and yeah, we go here, and I'm like, do I care? <laughs> I'm like, you brought her back in one piece, and she's alive. I don't care what you did between them. <laughs> at, at least there wasn't any bruises on the baby, right? 
Um, no, but during the summertime, so this is gonna be really gross. He never cleaned her properly, like her diapers, it would always come back super dirty. Like the diaper was clean, but she wasn't. So That's I'm like, nasty. what are you doing? <laughs> and then everyone in my family, well, he's a boy, he doesn't know how. I go, Well, if he's a boy, then he shouldn't be taking care of his daughter. Yeah, like I mean, if that's when, the excuse you're gonna. Use. When I had my sister, when, when, when I had my sister, when I had to take care of my sister, I, she not only was she premature, so I, I there were steps that we still had to do to make sure, you know, hey, she, she wasn't dying on us. Yeah. I mean, even then, I still had to ch- help my mom change her diaper, clean her really good, and after she peed, you know, still clean her, do a bunch of other stuff so she doesn't get infected and all this other fun stuff. And then as she kept getting older, just. You know, just kept trying to do it and do it and do it. And so, yeah, like being a guy is not an excuse. <laughs> no, it's like, not. I don't know. And then what else did he do? He uh, would tell the judge that he was scared I was going to leave the state with the kids. And I'm like, well, yeah, I go to Cheyenne all the time. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I leave the state. Sure. What the judge and said. So that? now in the parenting plan, we have. This ignored him. The judge like literally cared less about him. <laughs> it was like it was actually really funny that the judge gave him like the minimum minimum like parenting time. It was like oh something stupid like eight to three thirty, and then it bumped up to like eight to five. And my lawyer's like, I don't know how he's not getting more time, but I'm not gonna fight it. <laughs> Might as well, you know, because he's I mean... like he's truly not doing anything. Like the judge, like judges see this every single day. Like we're just another case number to them. We're not anything special. So he's like, yeah. And he would tell me right before like a hearing, he goes, be prepared. He's probably going to get her for the whole weekend. He's probably going to get her overnight. And I'm like, okay, okay. And the judge is like, no, let's keep it the same. We're like, bet. (laughs) You're like, I'll work with that. Yeah. And then he got into a new relationship, literally like, two months after we split up and then brought her to my house and did he say hey this yeah. is my new girlfriend or did he just uh, of... he just had her in the car so this was before my other one was born so i was still pregnant and he dropped off my oldest and she was in the car with the windows rolled down i'm like are you serious like oh my body is not even cold yet <laughs> i'm like okay whatever Hi, and then she ended up calling the cops on him for domestic violence. What? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, dang. I'm like, girl, I could have told you that, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus. Yeah, and then he would post all these pictures, and then that girl had a little baby, too. And all these By pictures, him? and they would go to, like, the death. No, 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 oh. no. That's my another guy. But, like, he was more of a father to that little girl than to ours. And I was like, oh, goodness. So then they broke up, and then he found a new girl. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and she also had a baby that wasn't his. And there was this whole big face before her birthday, like, oh, you've made such a big impact on me, my daughter's life. And I was like, what? I'm like, I don't even know her. <laughs> so then I told him, I straight up called him a hoe. Oh, that's kind of what he is. I was is. like, look, I go, you've been. I go, I need to know who my daughter is going to be around. I go, I don't care who you're around, but if she's going to be around my daughter, you need to let me know at least her name. I go, because if one of these girls go crazy and kills you and takes my kid, I need to know who has my kid. He's like, okay, okay. Like, and, yeah, okay, whatever. And he did? Mm-mm. He hasn't told me any yet, but I also haven't seen on Facebook any yet. But he has stuff blocked. Like, his cover photo is, like, gray, and you can't even click on it to see, like, what it is. Because we're not friends on Facebook, but I still, like, stalk him. (laughs) So I'm like, oh, who's in that cover photo? (laughs) Basically. But, damn, it's kind of fucking sad that you had to go through all that. Yeah. Like... And then, I'm sorry, hold on, text my mom. No, no, you're good. I'm pretty sure my grandma just went up the stairs and my mom also went upstairs. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, no, it's been ridiculous. Hey, mom. I think grandma just went upstairs looking for you. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's been stupid. He's he, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a car or a place of his own. And I don't care that he doesn't have a place of his own because I don't either. Mm-hmm. But he comes in like, oh yeah, this is my house and this is my address and blah blah blah. And we're like, no, it's not. <laughs> Like, literally, every time he's come up to pick up Aria, my oldest, he's either with his sister or with his mom in their cars. Or in his work truck to see. Like, he won't ever take them, but he'll come to the house and see them. What the fuck? I'm like, "Uh, I haven't seen your car in, like, a couple months. (laughs) So what you're saying is you basically married a bum. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> who claims to have a lot of money like in my defense he had all of this money everywhere and uh, all these good jobs and everything but i'm not really seeing that <laughs> i mean if he can't prove it at all then he probably didn't have anything right well sorry <laughs> like it's well. ridiculous and then he'll text me well let me know if you or the girls need anything I'm like, I don't need anything from you. <laughs> You're like, fuck you. I don't need shit. Yeah. I'm like, I got it. Thanks. I'm like, we're good. And then um, we had to go to Washington this summer because my grandma's husband died. So we now she lives with us. We had to go over there to get her. Mm-hmm. And it was his weekend to have Aria. So I was calling my lawyer. I go, what do I do? Do I ask him like, hey, can I take her? Or do I tell him I am taking her? He goes, well, you have full custody. All you have to do is tell him. I was like, ah, sweet. So I text him. I go, hey, this is what's happening. These are the dates we're leaving. Well, he goes, okay, that's fine. I was like, I I didn't ask. (laughs) I don't need it. That's fine. Was that probably a little bit shocking? Like, what do you mean? (laughs) That's that's fine. (laughs) But I think that nothing was finalized yet. So now that it is, I'm like, I bet. <laughs> Might as well. And that's what I'm scared with my sister, too, is, I mean, that's and just like my dad and my mom. I mean, all of us in the house. Um, I mean, I, obviously, I don't live with them, but we don't want my sister to go through that. We don't want my sister to find someone who's going to be like that. And, you know, same if my girlfriend and I, you know, when if we ever have a daughter in the, in the future, future, yep. either be a son or daughter, whatever the case may be, you know. We don't want anything like that to, for the for my sister or the child to ever go through because I you know where I I've heard I mean not only your story I've heard other stories and I'm like I don't want I don't want shit like that to happen. Yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> but hey, I mean, but my least, kids are really cute. <laughs> at, at least you not Sometimes. only have a job and. You know, at least have something. I mean, you're. I mean, you're, you're going. You're not stopping. You're still going. Yeah. But at least my kids aren't like ugly. Like he gave me cute kids. <laughs> I mean, hey, there you go. Could have I mean, been worse. At least you're not doing meth. You know, that could be the the right? worst. <laughs> but I mean, hey. Uh, but no, I, no, it's been almost a year of all this. Jesus, how long does does he have visitation for? Like, it de- so with Aria, he has her Saturday at nine a.m. to Sunday at five every other weekend until mm. she's two, and then when she's two, he'll have that Friday to Sunday. And then with Iris, he has to come to my house to see her. And starting May, he gets her for four hours unsupervised where he gets to take her out of the house. Oof. And then it gradually works up to where he stays. She's there as long as Aria. So, Oof. I don't know. We'll see how that goes because she's so sensitive that I know if his family is going to be like holding her all over her, she's going to come back like super red and broke out from all their clothes. Ouchie, well. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. We'll pray that everything goes well and whatnot, you know. We're kind of hoping he just drops off. <laughs> but eventually he just leaves. Just leaves never comes I'd back. I'd be okay with that. 
Yep. Just, like, if I mean, he can get some other girl pregnant, we're good. I'm not surprised he hasn't gotten the last two pregnant. That's what we said. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, yeah, he well, went with this, this chick. It. Got her pregnant, then went with left her, went with another one, got her pregnant. That's what we're waiting for because he wants a boy. He never ever wanted girls. That he would straight up tell me with my oldest that if it was a girl, it wasn't his. And like the what? day before I found out it was, yeah, because I had a feeling she was a girl from the very beginning. I knew she was. And I was like, okay, like real talk. I go, if she, if it's a girl, I go, it's going to be okay. He's like, no, no, it's not mine. I go, no, like legit. <laughs> like it's a girl. Okay. So stop. <laughs> God damn. And then we found out, and now he's like, oh, that's my daughter. I'm like, yeah, the daughter you didn't even want. It. And then with Iris, because we were together a month after I found out with her, he's like, oh, it's a boy this time. It's a boy this time. And I was still like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> usually, and no, uh, they're both girls. <laughs> you, usually, the gender you want is you're going to get the opposite. Because my, when before my sister was born, everyone, everyone, inclu- minus me, everyone's like, it's going to be a boy. It's going to be a boy. It's going to be a boy. I'm like, no, I might be a girl. You never know. I might be a girl. And so I stick with the girl. Everyone else stuck with the boy and turn out to be a girl. And she's the closest to me oh, out of all of them. She's the closest to me. Like she, even when yeah. she was in, in my mom's stomach, um, she, every time I would get near, uh, she's a, my mom said, yeah, she would kick a lot. But every time my brother was near, no. And why? Because <laughs> she acts, like, she acts like my brother. They're they're those siblings that always have a feud with each other. Because with me, she's cool with, but with my brother, they yeah. always have feud. So that's it's just that brotherly sisterly <laughs> love. And I love how the age gap is so big, and they still have that brotherly sister fight. <laughs> Yeah, she just turned ten this year. My brother turned twenty six this year, yeah. and they'll still have those fights. <laughs> I love it. I've seen those TikToks of like twenty three me fighting with a five year old. Like, yes, <laughs> basically that's how it is. <laughs> Literally how it is. <laughs> like but it's the best. <laughs> it is, but I mean, I, I'm getting hungry, so I need to go get some food. But it was great talking to you. Oh, same. Yeah. <laughs> it's been forever. Yeah, it's been at least since we graduated. No, yeah, kind of like after we graduated and ever since the whole seeing you in, in school kind of. That's kind of really, really the last time. Yeah, yeah. Kind of really the last time I've seen you at all. Spoke anything to you. Mm-hmm. I've been been a busy year (laughs) i mean hey it's a new year just just keep striving you know keep striving and keep grinding you know yeah just like with me just just like when i pass the test and become a realtor you'll be seeing a you'll be be seeing a lot of real estate posts (laughs) you'll be seeing a lot of that (laughs) it'll be super cool though it'll be fun yeah, well, and hey, if at any point some something ever changes in the future, and um, and if I'm still living in Lincoln or another state, and you need wherever where whatever happens, you need someone who can help you get a house. I got you. I got you, fam. <laughs> right? Or anyone else, you know, I got you, fam. But not right now. I'm not licensed, <laughs> so I can get big trouble. So, yeah. But, but alrighty, but this one. <laughs> I will. This one will actually go out today. The okay. podcast episode will go out today. You can listen to it anywhere: Spotify, Apple Podcast, Pandora, literally everywhere. Um, the audio okay. versions. I use what I'm gonna uh do is um I will I used to just upload the video, both video on YouTube and uh, Spotify, and then it just and then audio distributes everywhere. Um, but I'm just gonna do audio. For like Spotify and everything else, and then just keep the you the video on YouTube, so okay. So so like I said, you'll see Sweet. it. I'll, I'll post about it. Um, make sure you sign that paper because you know I take it serious because you know. Yeah, no, I already did. You're good. Perfect, perfect. But yeah, like I said, I'll do it. I'll probably even tag you on there. And other than that, yeah, go get some food, 
And yeah, well, we'll you? see each other in the future. See, let's see if something happens. If if I get invited to a baby shower or something, because you'll have your third kid. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All righty. See ya. Bye. Bye. Right, bye. Tell them I said bye. <laughs> okay. Say bye. Yeah, she's running away. She doesn't care.